Hey, good morning. Love you guys. Miss y'all. Tim says to tell you hello. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye. Well, we had our excitement for this morning. We're probably parked about two miles over that way. And we got over into this area right here and spotted sheep over there. And they were working their way this way. So we dropped down in that ravine there and started working away and we stopped and spotted them up on the side of this hill here. And so started making our way up to this hill right here. And we got within 600 yards of them and they kind of went over this side back that way. And I looked up here and there was a coyote up here sniffing around and he was kind of telling them and so anyway, I decided to go up higher on that hill over there. And Tim decided to drop down below. Well, when I got up to the top there, I looked over on that ridge over there. And there were all them sheep running. And they were getting it. And that coyote was on their tail. And they ran all the way over that way and then dropped off over there somewhere. So, anyway, the hills country is not rough as far as uh, elevation changes. But daggum, these rocks, man, this whole countryside is like this. And so it's, these rocks just wear you out. Anyway, we're gonna continue working our way that way. There's a lot of fingers over here we're gonna try to try to look at. Well, we're over three miles back in here and the only sheep we've seen was this morning. Some, some deer, but no more sheep. We're going to try to start working our way back towards where we parked. See if we can get on those sheep again over there. Still no sheep. scenery though. Hey Tim, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? Oh man, it's a thrill. It's a rush. Huh? It's a hard hunt. You got you got you got your sheep, right? You're down over there somewhere. 375 yards. 375 on the run. Over there on that ridge over there. Woo! 
I watched her go down. I was up, up on top. I heard Tim shoot. I heard that bullet slap that thing. I knew he had one, so I come running over the ridge and she was standing over there. And Tim got her, got her. And I was telling Tim, just take your time, take your time, buddy. And he put the crosshairs on her and hit her. She took two steps and hell. just rolled over and rolled down the hill there. Good job, buddy. Thank you, Jack. Hell yeah. Good hunting, Jack. Let's about. go get you one. Let's get her cleaned up and get you one. <laughs> Damn horn shot. Horn shot. Horn shot. Yeah. From you? A little too fresh of blood to not be. <laughs> Let me get her picked up. Hope she don't kick my ass. She's dead. Okay. She ain't moved since from that position. No, I agree, but pick up that uh, hind leg. Make sure it's a see if see if she's a you or a ram. So jammed at her front side and it hit that because she's looking at us. Yeah. And it hit that horn. That's a ram. Hey, even better. <laughs> there you go. Young Billy. Yeah. How do we know it's a ram? <laughs> it's got your favorite part of to eat on the animal. <laughs> Them sheep nuts. <laughs> Holy hell. Let's prove it. You want to prove it? Yeah. There them jewels are. Yeah. Look at this, Jack. That'll give you a headache. Dude. <laughs> yeah, no wonder she was like, I, sh I think I shot a little high. I know. That, that had to be that last shot. She's looking at us. You know? You think? I know. Capitan. There's Tim packing out his meat out of this canyon. I'm going to park way the heck over there. Now Tim, he found a lucky horseshoe over there and picked it up and I had already given him the story on finding horseshoes find a horseshoe that means you're gonna kill he found that horseshoe and five minutes later he had his kill of course you know we spotted those we, we were way over there by that that road in the background and spotted these sheep they were actually down in this valley where Tim is right below Tim 1300 yards out that's what we ranged them we made a move we stayed on the other side of the hillside and then we spotted them up over the other side of this because uh, some damn coyotes there were three coyotes in here moving them and that's what happened on us on day one damn coyote chasing our sheep away cost us a shot on day one they got the herd of sheep moving today and Tim worked low I worked high and it worked out great for Tim. He was able to get around there and made a 375 yard shot. Good job, Tim. Several of these hills out here. I'm trying to 
trying to get vantage points so we could sit here in glass and still deal with all these rocks here. So Tim he sealed the deal yesterday. We got today and tomorrow left to hunt. We gotta head back to Big Town Farmington. Found my lucky horseshoe about 30 45 minutes ago, maybe an hour, and it hadn't brought me no luck yet. Saying is, you find a horseshoe, you're gonna kill. Well, Tim killed yesterday within five minutes, and last time I went on my desert sheep hunt, we'd found a Horseshoe, and I killed them too. And then when I was on my coos deer hunt back in January, I found a horseshoe and I killed, but the landowner wouldn't let me go in there and get it because he crossed on the private property. Dang landowners. That's what you're going to deal with out here. We had a gate we've been going in to all week on BLM property. And we drove up there this morning to go into it. And both sides of the gate were chained and locked on BLM property. Right next to a road, county road, the Draper Road. And we called the game fish and they said we could just walk in. So it doesn't look like the game fish are gonna try to enforce the rules. It's too much work, I guess, to go talk to a landowner, I don't know. They was nice enough to call us and talk to us, so 